was in the federal government since I was 15 years old. So that's all I knew. That's all I wanted. I had no dreams of being an entrepreneur. Tiffany Hainsworth has spent nearly 30 years in law enforcement. From the counterfeit squad of the U.S. Secret Service to the U.S. Attorney's Office to now handling cases at the SEC. A lot of our friends, high school friends, we lost them to gun violence and we lost them to senseless death. So I knew I wanted to give back to my community in some shape, form or fashion. The D.C. native had imagined she'd retire in law enforcement until one fateful day made her reconsider. So what happened on December 12, 2012? I was on my way to work and I was stopping to get my morning coffee and I was getting ready to turn and a car just hit me from behind. And he hit me so forcefully, he spit my car. And when he spit my car, he hit me again. And when he hit me again from the passenger side, I hit my head on the driver's side window. And I had a traumatic brain injury from that car accident. She would spend the next four years in and out of the hospital. The effects of the car accident coupled with her seizure medication made her day-to-day -day life more difficult. Having someone drive me to work, take me to the grocery store, help me with my daughter, that was the most trying thing because I had been independent for so long. Tiffany turned to gourmet treats, a hobby turned side hustle where she infused alcohol into butter cakes, bread pudding, and her signature boozy gummy bears. So how did you go from the perfected boozy bear to tequila. It was at that moment I looked at how much money I was spending on other people's liquor. So she decided to create her own, choosing her favorite, tequila. In 2018, her research took her to Jalisco, Mexico, where she found a tequila broker and eventually a family-owned distillery to create T. Capri tequila. I'm still having seizures, I'm still sick, and I was just like, it's, I'm either going to do this or I'm not. It's either going to work or it's not. <laughs> she got her hands dirty, learning how tequila is made from farm to glass. Agave. To fund the business, she dipped into her retirement. So I had no bank loans. I have no partners. I have no investors. I am the sole owner of my tequila. Tiffany making history as the first black woman to solely own a tequila brand. They didn't wake up and say, I want to be the first black woman to own a tequila brand. I actually went into this to have a couple of bottles of my own tequila for my gummy bears. That was all I wanted. Needless to say, I'm not making boozy bears anymore. <laughs> We have a huge shipment going to the MGM Grand National Harbor. Tiffany started out with just 1,500 bottles, personally delivering them to local liquor stores. Now her distribution team hauls 12,000 bottles. Are you going to take a shot? <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. Do you? People think, you know, tequila's for shots and it's a party drink, but if you have a quality, ultra premium tequila, it is a sipping tequila. Tiffany hopes to take T. Capri tequila global and continue making history with every sip. I wanted people to see that although you've had adversities and you've had trials and tribulations, that you still could be super successful, but you have to be focused. You have to be adamant. She's beautiful. All right, I want to sit with her in person and drink tequila, oh, so yeah. don't shoot it. I'm this not is shooting, a I'm sipping sip tequila. I have that line. And the best ones are. Um, that's kind of what she wanted, just like a good, high-quality sipping tequila that, you know, basically she made with her own hands. And she knows the in and outs awesome. of the business. She at first would show up and people would look at her like, you don't really know what you're doing. And yeah. she's like, oh, no, I know what I'm doing and I belong here. Yeah. Um, it's really cool because Tiffany still works at the SEC while also handling day-to-day wow. -day operations for Tea Capri Tequila. Um, and you can find her tequila in stores and restaurants all over D.C. and Maryland, or she ships, and she hopes to continue to expand. That is great. I, I, not to you know, I, I've had a fair amount of tequila in my day. <laughs> this, um, this, and I'm not just saying this because I like Tiffany's story. This is really good it's really tequila. good. And you know what? I like this whole series of second this acts. I mean, the fact that this right? is yes. her second chapter and could be her best chapter. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? She said, I don't need to make boozy bears anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know she believes in herself. She spent her own retirement. Retire now. She's my incredible. Goodness. She's so That lovely. was good. If you're watching, con of course you are. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you. Cheers to you. It's in the bottom of my way. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.